I'm Dan Baumgart with the National Weather Service in La Crosse, and I'm going to tell you the story about snowflakes. So most people don't really think about it and think about how snowflakes are all different. When you look up at the clouds, they're one of two things. They're either water droplets or ice crystals. So if you get up high enough, you'll get ice crystals to form. Really what you're doing there is you're taking the water that's in the air as a gas and you're converting it into solid form or liquid form, which is the droplet or ice crystals. What happens is these ice crystals will grow either vertically on the molecular level because of the way water is uh, in the molecular form, it's in the form of hexagons. So everything from the molecular level all the way up to the crystal, or the snowflake level, is hexagons. That's the basic building block for ice as water is converted from a gas over to these snowflakes or ice crystals. And so what happens is these ice crystals will grow one of two ways. They'll either form hexagons vertically and you'll get these what are called needles or columns for snowflakes or they'll grow outward. So it's one of two planes, it's either out or up. And so when they grow outward, they're just hexagons and they just grow outward and get bigger. What governs how they grow is the temperature in the atmosphere and the humidity level that is in that cloud. So what humidity governs is usually the ornateness or the um, pristineness of the crystals. So you'll get these very finite structures when the humidity level is at its highest level. And so as that crystal falls now from the cloud and goes through different temperature regimes on its way down to the surface, it'll either grow horizontally It'll grow vertically, and if the temperature is the same all the way, it'll grow in the same manner. So if you start vertically and start to form these needles or columns, and the temperature is the same, in the same range all the way down to the surface, it'll grow along that axis and it'll end up at the surface as a needle or a column or vertical, because those hexagons are just piling up. If you change temperature regimes, you may start to grow vertically and then go into a different temperature regime where it starts to grow outwards. So then you may end up with a needle, but then at the tops of them, you'll have these hexagons that are growing outwards. So it'll kind of look like a, one of those cable wheels or um, that roll cable or fiber optic cable onto them. So the most popular ice crystals are ice crystals that are really irregular because they just have all these different temperature regimes they flow through. They may collide with other crystals. Sometimes you get pristine temperature regimes where they're the same all the way down to the surface. And when that happens, you get a very pure set of snow crystals that are, that are found at the surface of one type. Certainly in the winter time, you get to experience snow and you get to experience the uniqueness of these snowflakes and so I would say the next time you're out and it's snowing take a minute let the snowflakes fall on your arm or on your on your car and take a close look and see what they look like um, you don't need a microscope to see the difference in the snowflakes just have to take the time to look at them and, and notice the difference